New Zealand's parliament has voted overnight to legalise same-sex marriage. It's become the 13th country to pass such laws. For more, we're joined by TV3 reporter Tova O'Brien in Wellington. Tova, a, a, a really decisive decision. How big an issue has legalising same-sex marriage been in New Zealand? Well, it's been huge, Koshi. Good morning. Um, the submission process during the select committee phase, where there were submissions throughout the country, thousands of them, and the arguments, as you can well imagine, this is a polarising issue. The arguments were very strong on both sides. Last night, there were hundreds of people that lined up at Parliament to come and see the final reading of the debate. Mostly, they were supporters. Uh, there were a few in the public gallery as well who were praying during all the speeches from the MPs who were for same-sex marriage. There were about 16 MPs who were speaking for it. Only three spoke against it last night and most of them their arguments were about you know historical and traditional values and they wanted wanting a larger debate and one of them wanting a referendum on the issue okay. are you expecting a whole bunch of Aussies to uh, cross the ditch to, to get hitched um, Julia Gillard says she won't stand uh, change her stance against it that's certainly what we're hearing. I, um, there's been a few couples already saying they're going to come to Australia, uh, come to New Zealand, sorry, and get married here. But I understand that the, the marriage certificate that they get in New Zealand won't be recognised in Australia, and it will only be recognised as a civil union in those few states where civil unions are, are allowed in Australia. All right. Okay. Thank you for that.